okay so this is the next video uh, into the continuation of, of our fast jp series okay so let me activate my environment so environment has been activated let me start my app using, using the uv con server so my application has been started let me refresh it so right now like uh, our application look like this we have just uh, some icons but nothing like displayed here and here like uh, what i want is like because uh, in the database we have the items right so i want like all the list of the items because if you go to the docs and uh, we have the get all item and the get all item anyone can like uh, retrieve the item it is not mandatory like user should uh, create our account user user should log in like it is not mandatory like anyone can like uh, retrieve all the item so let me try it out and execute so anyone can retrieve all the items so all the item has been retrieved in the form of a like a json response all right but we want to like uh, display in on our like a front is ui right so here so i want to display here in a form of a cards right so if i go to so i want to display here uh, on our html web page so i have to do something on our html web page okay let me uh, open a new app so if i go to the so what all our folders so if i go to the web apps right and if i go to the routers and then open the items.py file so right now if someone go into this home home directory so i am on the home directory so if you give slash or no not a slash so it doesn't matter so home directory then we are returning this template and within this template we are returning uh, like item home page.html which looks like this only right but here we want to pass some data as well on into this html page right and what data we want to pass we want the list of all the items right so we want list of all the items so what logic we are using to list to get the list of all the items so let me show you cd routers ls nano item dot p so if you look at uh, we have one route retrieve all items so how we are retrieving all the items we are retrieving all the item by like uh, running sql alchemy query a simple like select query right so same query we will like write here items is equal to db dot query and on which tables we have to write the items so it is items table all right so we are and uh, whether we want to fetch the first item or all the items so we want to fetch the all items so now items has been retrieved into the items table but what is db what is items so that is not mentioned so items is our like a class and class in the models file so from models import items okay fine but what is db so db is a kind of a session object so we have to pass here a db and it is of a type of session so what is session we have to define here from sql alchemy dot orm import so session so everything is like same like which we have covered like uh, here na so we uh, here as well pass the db object and uh, we like import the session object as well here right so everything is same but we are using a like in this dot py file so we have to define here as well okay so but this session like uh, object like depends upon depends upon get db function right and uh, what is depend we have to import that from the fast api and what is get db so it is a function which is in our database file from database import get db all right let me show you as well control x nano so in our like uh, get db we are creating a session object so this is our session uh, local object which is like uh, linked with our uh, database and we are creating uh, an object but because we are using the testing module as well so that's why we are using the concept of dependency injection so we created one object uh, get db otherwise if you don't want to use the concept of dependency injection so no need to create this function just defined like uh, this line outside here only after the base okay 
so we have like uh, define everything hopefully now we have to pass this into our uh, this uh, dictionary so items is equal to items okay so let me save it so if i refresh it nothing will be like uh, shown here because we are passing here but we have to do something because on this page only the content which is which is present in the item homepage.html is is showing here right so we are passing uh, items into the template so this item we need to used in item homepage.html so let me go to the template so cd templates ls and i know item homepage.html so here i have to use that item so to use the variable we have to use the like a uh, double like a uh, uh, brackets so let me save it and if i refresh it i am able to see all the three items so item number 1 item number 2 item number 3 in a form of a list but this is not uh, the thing which we want i want the item title item description everything right so i want in a form of a card so we will use the concept of the bootstrap so if you open the bootstrap and you go to the docs and search here card so click on this first link cards so just scroll down so we want this kind of a card so this item one card then another card then another card so copy the code and open this so this code we want here so that we can display the items but rather than displaying here we will i will create a new card so card dot html and i will paste the content here i don't need need image of the card so i am removing the image icon and let me save that right and now i go to the item home page so i need to display the card here so i need to uh, include that card include card dot html right so that's it if i refresh it so something is here or something is wrong uh, okay i am forget the code i forget the code okay if i re refresh it i am able to see the card but it is like a default text uh, like which we copied here so it is a default text card title some like uh, if you see here so it is default uh, uh, default uh, text are coming right so we have to override this default text all right so uh, let progress something more uh, first thing like here like these things okay card is displaying here like this title is displaying here but it is like uh, very intact with the border only so we want some kind of spaces so we will like wrap all this thing in a container of, and uh, we will use the bootstrap container so wrap everything in a bootstrap container so div class is equal to container because in the base uh, uh, dot uh, html we like uh, use the um, css bootstrap css so let me wrap this in a container so now if i refresh it so now i like it a little bit like a good view right so i have a a, a good space here right okay so i don't want this list but i want like uh, rather than a, a particular like item title item description right so let me edit this so rather than this i want to run a for loop for loop on uh, this is a list so i want to run a for loop on this list right so i want to run a for loop for item in items right because we are passing the items because when i say when i display this items here so this item is a list and how to run a for loop on a list so for like item in items we can run a for loop right so this is the quality of the jinja we can run the for loop and within the for loop we will like uh, display the and we we have to end the for loop so a little bit different than the python because in the python we never end the for loop we, like automatically it will uh, like by using the in intention 
indentation like uh, automatically for loop end so but here uh, in the jinja2 template we have to like end the if loop we have to end the for loop as well so for and for if i save it if i refresh it so now three cards displayed here right because we have the three item into the database so if you go to the docs and if i retrieve all the items execute so we have three items and i run the loop i run the loop for item in item and i like uh, include that card right but i don't want this right so what i want is like this is the item so now we have like one one card detail so so i have to fetch uh, the particular so this is a particular like class object so i want to so this is so this is a basically so nano models dot pfi so this is basically a class object so i want the title i want the description so object dot title object dot description right so how to display that so so but we have to display the text in the card dot html so open the card dot html card dot html so rather than the title here what i want to use item dot title right and what i want to use here item dot description item dot description right and go somewhere or uh, make it add uh, some read more okay so let me save it if i run this it will fail uh okay item item 1 item item 2 item item 3 it not failed one minute something is testing nano card dot html we are passing the item dot title item dot description fine and uh, nano item okay so we are like uh, passing here but ideally uh, what we have to do so we are like uh, like uh, get, uh, getting this detail uh, here but ideally we have to do like here because uh, the variable which we are using in the card dot html we have to define that variable separately so with using with block so with let's suppose there is a one variable uh, uh, c item like a card item right and it it should be item so this item we have assigned to this and uh, we have to end the and uh, with block so and with control x save and uh, card dot html and here i have to use the c item card item if i refresh it yeah now like uh, able to uh, let me rerun the application you will go on main app hyphen hyphen reload so now like i am able to see but like all these things are like uh, coming in a like uh, one column i want in a form of a grid grid means row and columns so if you go here and if you write a grid here so we have the grid system just open the grid and how to dis uh, display in a form of a grid like row and column so we have to use the row class and we have to use the column class so now we will use that so go to the nano item home page dot html so i have to before starting the for loop i have to use the row class so row row class and let me organize it properly so that i should know like where the div is ending okay save it and now uh, run it so now like i like i i see the item in the row but there is a no space so i have to use the uh, row class as well uh, a column class as well so that one item in, into the one column so 
so where is the item is dis displaying so item is displaying here so bef just before that what i have to use div class is equal to call so these are the inbuilt classes this is not the one like i have defined div and if i save here and if i refresh here now i could see a little bit of like uh, uh, gaps here so these are the inbuilt classes you can see here row column all right so now we are able to see the uh, like item item 2 item 3 now let's suppose if i create one more item so am i authorized no i am not authorized so let me try to create a create an item first you know like i am not authorized so it will give me the error so if i try to create item 4 item 4 this is item 4 and one more thing i want to show let me give a very long text why i am giving long text because uh, like anyone can give the long text right so i want to show one more thing i have give a very long text and let me execute first it give me that you are not authenticated so let me log in myself so let's suppose user 3 user 2 exists so user 2 dot com user 2 authorized so now i am authorized okay never close now let me execute this so item has been created if i refresh the page you could see like uh, if the content is more the the size of the card become very very more right so i don't want uh, this like if the content is more the if still the size will be remain the same and when the user will click on the read more then the all the content uh, like uh, the description of the particular item should be displayed so how should i like uh, stop this so if i open the uh, card.html so right now i am displaying all the text so it is a string so i have to let's suppose i have to display only the first 30 characters so i am using the slicing uh, method now if i refresh it uh, not 30 let me display a little bit more maybe 40 is okay or 50 is okay yeah 50 looks fine so now like uh, so once the user will click on the read more then the all the description of the particular item will be displayed but otherwise like i will not uh, like uh, uh, use this slicing operator because uh, uh, item dot description is a uh, you can say is a string and i use the slice operator in a string just a simple python operator and the the length of the card will become very more so uh, let's suppose this card length of the card is more this length of the card is very less then the next card is even more so the page will not looks uh, beautiful so we have to make the page very consistent all right so that's why like i use the, uh, this and one more thing like i again want to show you so either you use this with block or not because we are passing the item here so automatically like uh, it will like uh, go here uh, into this because we are including the card here right but generally it is recommended because uh, the variable into the card.html uh, should be different than the one which we are using here so to define uh, to use the variable for the particular like uh, for another block or for part for particular block we are using the with block or you can say with context right so and we use another variable you can say var or any other variable and whatever the variable this is we have assigned this variable into this and we have another with block and now we want to use this variable into this block so we can use that easily if you don't want to use you can so you can just like uh, remove that okay so now we are able to like uh, list the items 
ओके सो या दैट्स द एंड ऑफ द वीडियो थैंक यू